introduced in September 2010. This is the iPod Touch 4th generation. That's the first model of the iPod Touch that introduced both front and back camera right here. Also, it was the first one to feature the Retina display. And now we are 2021. How does it look like? How does it feel like to use an iPod Touch 4th generation 10 years, 10 plus years later? Let's see. And by the way, if you like anything in that video or in my channel at all, please consider subscribing because it's just cool to subscribe. Let's go. So let's start with my experience with that iPod Touch 4th generation. I got it back in 2011 when I was doing some kind of user experience and uh, usability testing. So the tests on iOS devices were paid better. So that's why I wanted to get an iOS device. And back then it was much more affordable to get an iPod Touch with an iOS operating system than getting an, an iPhone, for example, the iPhone 4. So that's how I got it back in 2011. It was with that broken screen. It came quite cheap uh, from eBay, but at the same time, it was a very handy device. Inside, in terms of specifications, you're getting an A4 single core chipset, the same as you are getting in uh, iPhone 4, for example, 256 megabytes of RAM, that's a quarter of gig of RAM memory. It's the same you were getting with the iPhone 3GS back in time. Working from 2021, not much as a hardware specs, but back in 2010 or 2011, it was quite impressive. The iPod Touch 4 generation has that stainless steel back. And uh, by the way, the latest iPod Touch was released in 2019. It was the iPod Touch 7. The previous one, iPod Touch 6, was released in 2015. So iPod Touch 7 is the last one that's still available on the market from the iPod series. And uh, probably it doesn't have much life in, in it uh, at all because the iPhones are getting it now and they're very popular, time of the iPod Touch is pretty much ended. And by the way, getting 8 gigabytes of memory back then was not something huge, but still decent for music, movies, and any other apps you want to use with your iPod Touch. Some other nice stuff that we can see over here is, for example, the newsstand, which was really cool because it uh, slides up and down, it opens like a real newsstand. You see I had a version of Viber back then, Talking Tom, which is something that was huge back in that time. Hello, I'm the Talking Tom. <laughs> yeah, so it had some nice features you can use and repeats what you're saying. So it was really, really nice and funny app back in times. Let's see how the App Store works like. It has nothing to do with the current state of the App Store. So let's see, I've searched for the Waze app here. It's connected to Wi-Fi network. By the way, the difference between iPod Touch and the iPhone is that the internet connectivity on iPod Touch was only through Wi-Fi. There was no cellular connection. From this version of the App Store, we can see the latest available version for that iOS, how it looked like. When I want to get an app, for example, Waze, I would be shown this unfortunate message that um, this app is not compatible with this iPhone. It's not iPhone at all. But anyways, let's see the feature tabs here. No, oh, there is an update available. Let's see what version this one is. As I said, the latest version is 6.1.6. .6. That's available for that model. I don't remember if I had updated it at all during that time. So let's see what I can get here. And while waiting, I can say that it's a really kind of tiny device compared especially to the current models, current phones, especially the iPhones. 3.5 inch uh, retina display, which is kind of tiny for me. After iPod Touch 5, this includes iPod Touch 5, 6 and 7, the latest one. Uh, the screen grows up to 4 inches and it gets taller, so it's a bit more uh, handy and more matching the current design of uh, mobile phones. Checking for update, this is stuck on that message, so probably it's not going to uh, show anything. We go to the bottom here, so you get the 30 pin charger with the old iPhones, for example up to iPhone 4s I think. There is the speaker over here and you get the 3.5mm jack for headphones 
what I put here was this kind of stylus which I was using on the screen my iPhone 11 doesn't want to focus anyways it's not going to update going back home now the retina screen it was something major quite good resolution very good one among the other devices available on the market especially for that price so retina screen on iPod touch fourth generation you see I've got quite lots of apps downloaded here back from the times I didn't use it uh, for quite long now for example this is the tiny piano you can play by the way the button here doesn't work most of the times for some reason probably because of the age so that's why I've activated the assisted touch here so let's open this one let's pretend we go back to home screen and now let's simulate the double touch on the home button so here are the apps you want to close do you remember to close them you tap and hold and then close them one by one this iPod touch 4 generation supported iOS version up to 6.1.6 .6, mostly because the 256 megabytes of RAM memory now moving to the camera it's 0.7 megapixels so 0 0.7 it's less than one megapixel for back camera and it's 0.3 so 0 0.3 megapixel for the selfie camera the one here in the front nothing impressive here mm, according to some reviews and some um, comments and um, stuff i was reading about this device it says that uh, the camera is probably one of the worst that uh, apple had ever made so that's the back camera let's focus on here it's focused pretty much but uh, just the quality of the camera is not that good let's see I will just take a photo over here of my Christmas tree so I will post it in the video right now in terms of video it's 720p resolution not sure if it's a real resolution because the quality is really poor even for 720p I will record a short video right here of the Christmas tree you have tap to focus you see and let's see how well it does how good it works for focus okay I will put that in the video as well so you can watch the result smile well so that was it iPod Touch 4 generation 10 years later released back in September 2010 I hope it was uh, useful cool for you to remind uh, about this device uh, do you remember it do you have any feedback any comments any memories with it please put down in the comments and please consider subscribing for my channel and uh, like and share this video if it was useful for you or if you think it will be useful and interesting for your friends as well bye bye and see you next time